Hello YouTube, today we will be creating our own auto hotkey script for Dota 2. These scripts are going to be used for Invoker and Meepo, but we can add more characters to that list later. First thing we want to do is head over to autohotkey.com and download auto hotkey. I'm assuming most of you already have it installed, but if you don't, go ahead over to autohotkey.com, click the download, download the installer, and run through this installation, and you will have auto hotkey. I'm not going to run that. Uh, I already have it, so... But once once you've that done, we're gonna create a folder on our desktop called scripts. I already have it made, but you're gonna make one and in this we'll be storing all of our different hotkeys for our characters. And within this folder we're gonna create a new auto hotkey script and we're gonna title it invoker. And to edit this we are going to want to use Notepad Plus Plus or another text document editor of your choice. I choose Notepad++ because it's just what I'm used to. It looks the best in my opinion. Um, regular Notepad is a little tricky to use so I would definitely recommend Notepad++. The link will be in the description. So we're going to open that up. And this is what it will look like. It will come with all this. We can just remove all of it but keep the no ENV. And then we're going to add a couple prereqs for our script. So use hook. Install keybind hook. Again, these things are just prereqs. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what all of them exactly do. I just know we're going to want to use them for this. Just so that it's a lot easier to write our script and make sure it works. Alright, after we have all the prereqs, we are going to have to understand what our actual hotkeys are for the characters we're using. So, for Invoker, if I open up Dota 2, I can look at my hotkeys. So, I know that Quas is Q, E is Wax, R is Exor, and F is the ultimate. So, I'm going to be coding mine based on that. Um, I can put a little comment in my code just to show you that, but... That will be in the, the one in the description that you could download. So just so you know, and you don't mix up your, your keys, because most people might not play with the exact same keys as I do. Uh, I play with a WASD camera style, but that's not very important. So let's just get right, in, right into writing it. So uh, I will have added a GUI, which is like a, a pop-up window in the full version uh, in the description that will show you all the spells after it's done. But for now, we're just going to skip that. We're going to write just the script and get it working right away. So first thing we're going to want to do is create an exit key just in case you want to turn off the script to type or something. Um, so do this, exit app. Uh, this arrow up is, I'll explain that in a sec. Control plus zero will shut down your program. So this is just something we want at the beginning just in case we would need to get out of it at any time. Alright, and then we're going to start with cold snap. Anytime I do a uh, semicolon, it's just going to comment out that line so it won't run. So for cold snap, we want tilde 1. This will be, that means the 1 key is going to execute what we put in here. So send input qqq sleep for 50 milliseconds. That'll just add, give it some time to process and make sure nothing gets clicked too fast for the game not to register it. Send input F. Not force, F. And then return. And that's cold snap. So we have cold snap done already. It's just that easy. And then um, I usually do them in order of I li how I like to use them. So next we will be doing tornado. Tilde 2. Send input. Let's see what mine is. EEQ. Sleep for 50 again. Send more input, and this will be another F. I do not like that. Return. 
And there's a couple more tricky ones in this, but these are pretty simple. They're pretty much all straightforward. You kind of get the point at this point. So I am probably just going to copy and paste a couple in. So Meteor, it's the exact same format. Till day three. And then send input, sleep, send input, return. And we pretty much go on until we have one through nine. And then for a little trick with the ghost walk, we're going to, I'll code that one up for you so you can see. I'll call it invis. Um, I use mine as a P I bound to my mouse, so I did P. You can make this whatever you want. Uh, P. Send input. QQE. Sleep 50. Send input. F. Sleep 50. See why we keep going on this one? Send input. E, E, E. This is for wax. Sleep. 300 found to be my sweet spot. Send input. T. Return. So the trick with this one is when this gets executed, it's going to not only uh, use the ultimate ability to get the spell, it's going to use it, it's going to do that and then also execute the ability itself. And I'm using quick cast, so if you have quick cast turned on, it'll aut once T is pressed, it'll automatically cast the ability and that's based on this right here. So this is T, so this will automatically be casted. Alright, so now I'm going to jump over to my finished version, and we're going to run it and see what it looks like in-game. So, here's my, my finished version with the spell list up. I'm going to throw this to my other monitor so that when I load Dota 2 I can still see it. And if we go into a practice lobby, with cheats turned on just so I can demonstrate this a little better. Mid only. Alright, so what we're going to do is show you the script in action, what it can really do. So I'm well if you away. press 1, it's going to instantly give you cold snap. 2, tornado. From the 3, chaos meteor. 4, sonic wave. Remember. So basically it's working just fine. And if you see how I've put cast so on, it's going to be 2, 4, and that's just basically how you can there. Or you can do something like EMP, 9, Ice Ball, Tornado, Black Ridge, Sign, as you can see it, it works just fine. Uh, it doesn't have any issues. And after that we're going to start working on the Meepo script. Alright, so for our Meepo script, it's going to be a little different. We have to look at his combo rather than ability execute, ability execute, done. It's more of a chain of abilities that that's up a combo and it looks kind of something like this. My toes. It's a, a blink into tab E, tab E, tab E. And that's based off of my settings for next unit is tab. Okay, so now we are going to be working on the Meepo uh, auto hockey script. So go create one of those, Meepo.hk, and we will again add it with Notepad. And I've already done the same prereqs for the script, just like the last invoker one. If you're going to want to do that again, you can just copy and paste this in, not a big deal. And then I also did the exit command for control zero. Um, and then now we, we just need one key for the script. It's pretty simple. And it's going to be Z because that's what my blink dagger was set to. You could obviously change this up based on the position of your blink dagger in your inventory. So mine's going to be Z. And then we're just going to be doing the same send inputs as the invoker script. Send input and tab is it's the key next to one on your keyboard so that's this is for tab so it's that for tab and then we're gonna sleep 50 and then send input e for the poofs and pretty much we just want to 
do this all over again. So sleep 50. And just copy and paste it. So that's first meepo, second meepo, third meepo. And then we want to send one final tab to get us back to the original. So like that. And then return. So basically now that we have that done, we can go in game. Like your style. After we run the script, of course. Run the script. Go into game. One paw in front of and the if you have blink on quick cast, this should work. So blink. And look at that. All your meeples are instantly there. And you can even net right. enemies right after, so that and you can also execute another move. And if your blink dagger is not in this game, yep, yep. it will just poop all your other meeples. You can pretty much do this with any character in Dota, so if you ever find you're having trouble hitting a combo, you can create a script. It's pretty simple. You can see it's just a couple of lines. It's not hard. It's just one key, send some input, and return the function. And that's pretty much all I need, guys. So I hope you enjoy the video, and have fun writing scripts. Thank you.